Goodness me, there might be a, some sort of a gap between the green and the blue, whether the, a gap between there leads to Kyron Wilson potting one, I'm not sure. Yep, he certainly could. This is uh, another chance for Kyron Wilson here. Just a trace of right-hand side on that. Oh, goodness me, these both players have made surprising errors. Sullivan hit the red on the way through to a red. This time, hit the black trying to pop the pink. Well, a topsy-turvy frame, all right, but advantage O'Sullivan now. He's going to need the last red as well. Mm. And he's not on it, and he's not happy. Well, it's going to be very much second prize, the snooker here, isn't it? <coughs> Donald, sorry, what? It really is. I mean... While it's put him in a strong position in the frame, the frame should really have already been over. Well, he'll be happy enough. He got the double kiss. Right, is what happened. Yeah. Yeah, this would be a very One. significant frame, wouldn't it? Both players have missed chances. Yeah, I think that's what he's going to play. The pink. He's got to avoid hitting the black on the way up and down, I think. Was slightly complicated by the blue being where it is. Nice. Oh, that's a good shot. cube has gone a little bit far, but I still think he played it well. all over the place, I have to say. 16. Well, again, he's nowhere. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? It's not just about podding the balls, it's controlling the white, and when you lose ideal position, that becomes harder and harder. No control at all. Break got more and more <laughs> out of hand. And while he's a tremendous potter of a ball, big shot. Something he had to give, I'm afraid. Anyway, he's missed it on the thin side. It's not the worst. I'm Sullivan delighted just to be coming back to the table. Strange way to play it, I thought. I mean, I thought he'd play it around two cushions up and put that black ball right up on the bolt cushion. Why wouldn't he have played it like that? The black could only finish in the middle of the table and give Kyron a, a shot. And you know how he pots balls. Yes, and in goes the black. What a dramatic frame. He has to get the bunch open here. This is a power shot.
Well, yeah, how, look how he played that. Oh, that was never Wilson, anywhere but near Jaw. Mm. He was slightly found wanting there. There was a good chance. He got the bunch open. May prove significant, may not. Well, Sullivan lining up this red to the green pocket. Yeah, yeah. it's a big shot. Indeed, as you were. Now we're back with Kyra, and this is now an opportunity to chalk up what would be for him a, a very satisfying victory. He said, no, I wasn't good enough. On to the next event. And actually, the next event was the next day, wasn't it? He had to play in Belfast the very next day. Lost to Lee Walker late at night. I remember in the Masters, because we had the match, which was you know, billed as a bit of a grudge match, because Kyron Wilson and Judd Trump, they're not the best of buddies, really. There's not a huge rivalry, but it is a modern-day rivalry. But after Judd beat him, he was out there signing autographs for about 20 minutes after that match for anybody that wanted them. So... He's a good man, tries his best, and if he was to lose, he takes it in the right way. Eight. Well, he's got his second chance in this frame to get himself over the line. He's a rather adventurous player, isn't he? The cue ball control maybe not as strong as some other players. I was going to say there, actually, that it's helpful that the yellow was away from its spot because that was a bigger area to go through, but he still hit 13. the yellow on the way through. Well, he really is giving this everything, but it should not have been quite as difficult as it is. Foul. Something I had to give. I didn't well, expect it to be that, I have to say. Carol Wilson, 13. Goodness me, well, I'll tell you what, before that shot, Dave, <laughs> if someone says you can hit the blue and finish behind the green, well, I'd have thought they were psychic. Free ball, he's left, yeah, amazing. He spent so long lining up the red, and he somehow caught the blue. Free ball, so brown as red. <laughs> Wriggles in. A little bit of a pressurised situation for his opponent. Well, particularly as he's had two good chances, Wilson, in this frame. Yeah, so Ronnie might just sense there's something here at stake. This match is Five. not over. Six. Well, it's not quite ideal in anything. What a good recovery shot that was. Is he on the red, though? Well, I think he's got to play the red to the middle. Not easy. <laughs> Ronnie's turn to struggle with his position. <laughs> Some touch, if he's reached it, I guess he has. Wait for it. <laughs> Not as played, of course. Thirty points in front. The other one nearly went in, but he's not on a colour very easily. That's the other thing to say. If he'd have been on a colour, it'd have been an outrageous fluke. Now, if he doesn't knock this green in, that could be the end of the match. Yeah, it's the fact this other one clung on. It's one thing that that one went in, but the other one, as you say, clinging on means he bang under it now to knock this green in. Big shot, this. And it's, and it's in. Had to go in. Could have been over. 
would have been over, I think, Dave. I really couldn't have seen him not finishing oh. off the match from there, but anyhow. It kind of made, adds to the significance of the fluke, doesn't right. it, that he potted the green afterwards. Fluke could be a huge moment in the match. Nineteen. Guess getting onto the yellow could possibly cause him a problem. I think he's more than happy to finish there. Well, what a chance now. He knows it could have been over. Thirty-six. Who's to say that hasn't turned the whole match around in his favour? Still in trouble, but as I say, could have been out. Faulty. Just needs the blue. Faulty so not as emphatic as the last frame where he made the century, but all the same, O'Sullivan has now won two on the spin. Kyron Wilson still won from victory. 51. On side, 51. So 51 break from Ronnie O'Sullivan. It started with that fluke. Fifty-five. Well, playing on the loose red. That's a good shot. And the reason for that is if he puts red black here, then it's a snooker's acquired situation again. Well, this is pretty formidable stuff, it really is. Well, it's proving to be the difference between the two players, Dave, isn't it? The power of scoring in amongst them. And of course, as I said before, that would apply to Ronnie O'Sullivan versus almost anybody. Not just the man he's sitting there hoping that he can beat him today. Well, it's like he's flicked a switch. Crowd loving this now. He's going to be a big favourite, I think, going into the decider. Yeah, he's missed that one. So Wilson may play on here. It's three snookers. Just sort of hold off the express train for now. Yeah, just take the sting out of things. Of course, he could somehow win the frame, but it seems the moment unlikely it was a pretty glaring error from nowhere from O'Sullivan just when you didn't think he would miss a black off the spot it would be then One. well assuming it is a decider as I say the way he's come back you make him favorite but of course the one changing dynamic in a decider is it's the first time the player who's recovered can actually win we'll see but Wilson I think it'll be Grateful actually for this visit, regardless of what happens, just to, as I say, just calm things down a bit. Yeah, of course, the match that he did win against Nine. O'Sullivan springs to mind, doesn't it? In Belfast, where it's only best of seven, but he led 3 0. O'Sullivan came back with a barrage of centuries, three in a row. So everything was on him with, with him when he got into the decider thing. You, know, you felt that. Just the irresistible force meant that O'Sullivan would win, but it's the point you make applied then. It does shift back a little bit, and Kyron Wilson won the decider, and, and that was the first match between the two players. He's not beat him since.
Yes, and he should get one here. And it's a question of what we said earlier on, really, that one thing getting the snooker, but really he could do with the red on top of the green or next to a, a colour. That would make things a lot more difficult. The free ball Can't comes into play. Well, he's not quite done that, has he? He's not quite made this the unhittable snooker. There is still a chance of a free ball, though. Money has to be a little careful here if he misses this. I'll tell you what, I'm amazed he's played it in that way, you know. Foul. Goodness me, fancy Joe that. Four. Free ball. I would have thought anything but that. If he's going to play that shot, why didn't he play it just hard enough to go past the red? And he's knocked it in. What a great pot. He's got a chance here to steal frame and match. Incredible. One. So he would need pink or black off the last red. This needs to slow up. It needs to slow up. Eight. But he's still on the red. As you can see from Hawkeye. Not an easy that shot that. It may eight. not have looked too difficult, but. Ooh, and he's not happy. Punches the table. Well, wow, you, you can understand it. It's a, a shot that when he was, you know, if he was at his best, he wouldn't miss. Well, I think also it's the fact that we've come this far in the frame. The frame should have been over, and he's not guaranteed to get another shot now. Another chance for Wilson. It's all too much for him at the moment, Dave. All too much for him. Worryingly near the pocket. And that's the shot. And he's played it very well, actually. But he was right to be watchful on that. He probably should have been on that snooker escape. Of course, the worry for O'Sullivan here, Dave, is <laughs> that the colours are all on their spots, you know, technically. Whoever pots this red is likely to win the frame. Well, we'll see. I mean, Wilson had a, a great chance there on the last red. And it's Ronnie O'Sullivan who knocks in the last red. He made a meal of this frame in the end, but it looks like he's won it now. So it looks like a decider. Yes, he's got away with one there, Dave. And I wonder if that actually, in a strange way, will kind of make him feel a little bit better that maybe today is his day because... He missed that black off the spot. Then Kyron, you know, if it had gone in, he wouldn't have had any sort of more negative thoughts. But you know, he had a chance of his own and since then. So maybe it hurts even more now, the way it's been won and lost. Well, I think he thought it was over, didn't he? Punched the table when he'd left the chance at the last red. But Wilson didn't knock it in. Pressure 13. has come to bear here. Kyron Wilson's 5-1 lead has been wiped out. A very dramatic frame that O'Sullivan on another day could have lost. 17. But he's still here fighting for a place in the semi-finals. It's all going to be on the last frame. 22. Just wait for the applause from the O'Sullivan fans, and there's plenty of them here when this black goes in. Their man has taken us the distance. It didn't look lightly at 5-1. Wilson will rue some missed chances, not least in that frame. We're all square. Five each. A break-off shot, actually. The cue ball's come right round.
Well, the double kiss is always on, I suppose, but look what he's left, goodness me. Wow, that only just dropped. I think that there is some tension on O'Sullivan. There's no question about it. He's not played particularly well today. He's made centuries, he's scored, but he's missed in between. And now's the chance to go on and win the match. Nine. Well, he's not going to be very pleased with that. He is on it, and he can play it with left-hand side, running side around the table through bulk, but quite a difficult shot to play with your wrong hand, this, because you've got to play it with running side. Well, he went the other way, but he must be fuming, because that was a great chance, and it just signs that you know, he's not as sharp as he could be either. They both are, to be honest. We're in the decider after a very tense match. One. It's a solid strike this time. Well, let's see what Wilson is made of. I'm just thinking back to the opening red there that Ronnie knocked in. He nearly missed it. You know, he didn't start that break with any confidence. Not a very good shot. Again, his cue ball control has let him down there. Oh, I'm afraid it was a shot before. He had a, quite a large area at the bottom of the bunch to hit. And he would have been on the red below it. A lot at stake here. As you said earlier on, I think you're spot on, Dave. When a player gets this far into a comeback like Ronnie has, he almost would have been more comforting to have lost easily than get so close, get back into it. And now that he's got this far, he's got to go on and win the match. That's a fabulous shot. Well, he's, yeah, he's given himself every chance. Lovely shot into the cluster. Pretty to watch when they're played like that. Seventeen. Well, it's how he likes them, but he's still going to land on these balls correctly. And that's all right. Just thinking about that end of that previous frame when Ronnie missed that long red up into the green pocket and punched the table in in anger. He'd have thought that would have given Kyron Wilson the boost he needed. He's here to win, make no mistake. And it would hurt not to win. Well, if he does win, he'll be pleased to win. But I know that he won't be pleased with his performance because we, we know he only too well what he's like. Anyway, let's see if he gets over the line here. The plant was very handy at that point. It's only surely the situation that can stop him. The greatest break builder the game's ever seen with half a dozen reds around the pink spot. It usually only ends one way, this situation. If he was to lose, this really would hurt him. And it wouldn't necessarily bode well for the next time they met. That's right, you can handle, I guess, being outplayed if you don't get chances, but it's when you've had chances and you haven't taken them, I guess that's what makes it difficult. He's hoping something's going to go wrong here unexpectedly. 49. But remember, it would be 12th win in a row in Shanghai over a three-year period for O'Sullivan. Something about this tournament he likes, clearly. Yes, black-red colour he needs. Well, we often say what a great front runner he is. Today, though, he's shown his fighting qualities in adversity. Little check of the scoreboard tells him the yellow goes in. He's 60 in front with 59 on. Yes, and uh, you have to say this could be just what he needed for his season. This is the match he should have lost, really, on about four or five occasions. 
Clara made hard work again over the line. You know, if Ronnie was to go on and win this tournament, who knows where it could lead. But a defeat today would have kind of put him back to the drawing board a little bit, wouldn't it? 16. Well, it just shows you, no matter how much pressure you put on a great player like O'Sullivan, you've still got to finish him off. And Wilson will be disappointed he's not done that now. Then he's gone in off the black. He's looking at the scoreboard. That's made a bit of a difference. Still snookers required, but not necessarily over yet. No, and the scoreboard's gone haywire now. <laughs> because that works out. But, uh, it's only a, a couple of snookers, I think. It's one snooker. I think it's 54 in it. Once, once the scoreboard is... It's a little rush of blood from O'Sullivan there. They're just adrenaline, I think. Well, well madness, because I, mean, I can't even think... I can work out what he was playing. Either he's straight on the black or he's not. So how do you run it through it off? Just been thrown, and again, a lifeline. Yeah, Ronnie's face was a picture, actually, when he just looked up as if he was a bit bewildered by it himself. Anyhow. <laughs> yeah, this, is a, this is a terrific shot this time. Well, this time his cue ball could not have been played a lot better than that under those circumstances, especially this black. match over now for me no yeah there was uh, a lifeline thrown but he was still under it and he's left the red onto the middle well wh what a extraordinary drama it's been but it's surely over now and Ronnie O'Sullivan the defending champion is going to be in the semi-finals he might wonder how because Corin Wilson had several chances to finish him off. But O'Sullivan Eight. did produce some really good snooker as he came back. Ten. And he uh, held his nerve. Quite an incredible match. 5-1, O'Sullivan trailed. Seemed to be going nowhere. Corin, you know, he, he didn't look to be at his, his fluent best, but he was getting the better of all the exchanges. Ronnie... Seemed to just loosen his arm a bit, knocked in a couple of breaks, but somehow he's won. Yes, he was 5-1 down, and Kyron Wilson looked the only winner, but to the delight of the Ronnie O'Sullivan fans, and there are many of them here in Shanghai, he's turned it round after quite extraordinary drama.